All right, guys, this is my locator. So it's a Rycom Instruments. Um, let me check and make sure the camera's rolling. Hang on. Yes. All right. Hang on. Let me get you back on my head. All right, guys, this is a Rycom Instruments Incorporated locator. We have both. I say we, me and Corey, have both. I have the stick, which is this, and it's got a, a transmitter there. This is your receiver. Uh, I got this one. I had a, I think the model number is a 8879. Corey's got it now. It's a larger locator like what you see with the normal locators. It has like a real big bag and twice the transformer and all that. I didn't need anything that big. I want to be able to keep it behind my seat so I had it with me all the time. Regular cab truck, not real conducive. So Corey bought that one for me and I bought this. So this actually has a metal detector in it also. So I can go find property corners. Nice. So the way you find power, sometimes cable, sometimes telephone lines, you can find um, not so much irrigation and let, you have to have power going through it. You can find it on 60 Hertz. See how it says 60 Hertz? And then you can turn your sensitivity, this little line here, you can turn the sensitivity up and down. Okay? Let's turn it down about two thirds of the way up. I've turned up a little more. Not a lot of power running in here. There we go. Okay. Where's power? I'll show you guys how to locate, maybe. Okay, maybe it's real deep. And there's not a lot of... I mean, if you go in and turn some lights on... Okay, here's our power. Okay. That should be our power. And I always start at the house first because that's your usage and it seems like it, it tones a little better on it. But as you can see, so there's your window. And you can look at the sensitivity. Hear that tone change? I bet you that line is right there. So I'm walking right on top of that line. Bet you that line's right there. If we dug it up, I'm, I'm normally about dead on. Okay, that gets us past it. So I'm almost to the power line. Power line ought to be right there. If you guys are in this business, excellent tool to have excellent tool to have um now with the transformer say say we've got irrigation it say i come to your house and you need me to find your irrigation lines sometimes i i get it right on sometimes it takes a minute but you take this tool and that probe right there with the t-handle on it and normally i'm i'm really good at it Corey's okay at it um, it just takes it. It's a lot of intuition, but uh, For some reason I just I, I usually pick them up a little faster than Corey So normally Corey has me do them if we're both on site and you guys know Corey's I, we've been friends for I don't even know how long long time But what you do I'll give you a quick tutorial not trying to sell you on Rycom But these guys are in town in Kansas City, Missouri. I don't remember how much this kit used to be I think with the bag and everything, I want to say like 1500 bucks. Well, if you irrigation guys have ever used 
the little clicker thing like the Greeley or something. Oh, that thing sucks. Oh, it sucks so bad. So what you do with this is my batteries might be dead. Nope. So I can put it on. I've got all kinds of different frequencies I can put it on. And Rycom can actually program whatever frequency, if they have it, in this that you want. And then they have to dial in your stick to it. Um, but say you want to find an irrigation line. You take this and you know you can run it in your bag and keep it nice and dry. This is your ground stake. It's nice if the ground's a little moist, it gets a better ground. Pour like a real big bottle of water or a gallon of water on it. You can get, you know, a couple, two or three, four of those cups there, get it out of the spigot, pour it on there, and then shove your ground in the ground or your ground rod in the ground. Okay? And then you hook this to there. And uh, I wish that ground rod would fit in there a little better and not like be in the way of everything. And then you hook this up, um, hook your black to your ground rod, obviously. Normally you want to be 90 degrees and as far away as you can from the transformer and what you're trying to locate, um, you know, with the wires. So you want to be 90 degrees and then you run this and you could hook it to your common wire, which is your ground and your irrigation system. And then you put your pulse on it, you put your tone on it, frequency, and then you adjust your stick to whatever frequency that you have on your transformer. So then you can, you can follow your irrigation wire. You might have to turn your sensitivity up or down, but excellent tool. Call the guys at Rycom. Um, I haven't talked to them in a while. I don't, remember, I don't know who to talk to nowadays. Awesome to work with. They're in Kansas City, Missouri um make awesome products this thing is awesome it goes behind my seat and it just stays in my truck but you can go out and you can charge somebody you know i've located gas lines i've located propane lines i've located secondary power services um and on the big one if you get the 88 it used to be a 8879 i believe on 60 hertz you can actually check depth now you can't check depth on 60 hertz on this machine but you can find 60 hertz real quick like that. So it's real quick to find a, a power line, which I use it for that a lot. Um, even bidding, if you're out bidding a job and somebody wants you to cut material out, you can pull this out, turn it all the way up, and you can sweep and see if you have any secondary power or primary power there, because that's happened in the past. Somebody wanted a parking stall and they wanted me to cut out a hillside. Well, there was a transformer way up the hill and I was like, where does that go? It's in the backyard and there's nothing else here. I pulled this baby out real quick, swept, bam, main power, followed it all the way up to the transformer. I said, sorry, sir, we can't pull this out unless you pay the utility company to lower down a power line. It saved me from doing a bid and digging something up and then having something tore up, um, you know, before we even tore it up. We didn't have to, we didn't have to get into that. So we found a different solution for him and we got it done. Um, awesome tool. So call the guys at Rycom. Um, what I was telling you, the 8879, you can check depth on 60 hertz, um, but you cannot on this. Now, if you want to find uh, your depth on any, any frequency that you put on with the transformer, you can do that. It'll tell you how deep, and usually what's it, it's within about an inch. Um, when you go over uh, valves and irrigation systems, when you get real good at it, you'll kind of hear and you'll almost know that you just went over a valve. It makes a distinctive uh, change in the tone that the, the stick gives you. So anyways, awesome tool. These guys don't pay me anything. I bought this. Like I said, I think it was 1500 bucks. Nice little package. If you need the bigger one, you can get the bigger one. Um, anyways, I better get up here and, and stop Corey because, well, he's not going to go that deep, but I'm going to go show him where the power is. So... Anyways, Rycom locator, guys. That's that's a good tool to have, and that was a good a good thing that uh, I actually had to do that. So, all right, see ya.